So each way dutching is an amazing extra places strategy that you can use to lock in some really impressive profits when you match betting. But I'm sure you've come across this problem. You enter all of the runners, the prices, the fractional terms, the places paid into the Susie Beth each way dutching sheet, which is available on OddsMonkey, and the sheet provides you with an upside, which is great, but on the flip side of it, it also provides you with a potential downside as well. Now, on some races, the fact of the matter is the bookmaker just plainly and simply has the advantage over you, and the, you basically can't make a profit out of those kind of races. But quite often, the situation where you have a guaranteed profit and a small downside can be quite easily reversed to show a guaranteed profit across the entire race just by refining your own each way stake on your each way dutch as opposed to using the stakes that are recommended to you by Susie Beth's each way dutching sheet from Odds Monkey. So when I first started looking into doing something like this and doing these each way dutches I realised fairly quickly that this was you know this was pretty confusing and there was a lot of different variables and a different types of things going on all throughout this dutch and when, once you figure out one problem it felt like another problem would, would just arise somewhere else and you was always trying to sort of juggle around and figure out exactly what was going on and get to the bottom of exactly how this was working. So I realised that you're essentially forced to dutch two books one of which is overbroke and the other one typically isn't overbroke and the odds for the second book are derived from the, the prices from the first book or a fraction of the prices from the first book so as you can tell Pretty confusing and a lot going on and a lot of different things that you have to think about when you do one of these each way dutches. So for me, before I could start throwing any money at something like this, I wanted peace of mind. I wanted to understand exactly what was going on, exactly what I was putting my money into. And I had some questions that I needed to ask myself before I could do it. First up, I wanted to make these races fully profitable. So that being between my lowest potential profit and my maximum highest potential profit, both of those numbers being positive. The second being I wanted to accurately quantify my edge and my advantage over the bookmakers. And I wanted to do that in sort of like a percentage or a yield that I had over the bookmakers. And third and finally, I wanted to understand exactly what would happen if non-runners were in the race and the bookmaker decided to pull one of their places. So after figuring out all of these questions and answering them, which took me quite a long time to be completely honest with you, because it is really confusing this kind of thing, because you know, you're know you dutching two books essentially. After figuring out these two things, I decided I would refine and define all this information into a spreadsheet and make it super easy to spot these kind of races and figure out all the questions which I just specified. So this is a spreadsheet that I come up with and ultimately I use this spreadsheet in conjunction with the Susie Beth each way dutching spreadsheet which of course is available on Odds Monkey which if you don't already know is this spreadsheet. I've mentioned it before in various other videos that I've done. It's a really good spreadsheet and you can get it for free on Odds Monkey if you go to this page, Tools, Spreadsheets, click on Dutching, and it's this spreadsheet on the right hand side, which is called the Susie Beth Each Way Dutching Sheet. If you want to try Odds Monkey for free, my free trial link is down below in the description if you do want to check it out. So, yeah, this is a spreadsheet that I've developed, and like I said, I'm using this in conjunction with the Susie Beth Each Way Dutching Sheet, and I've created it to do a few different things. Firstly, I've developed the sheet so that it'll tell me whether or not a race is profitable from an Each Way Dutching perspective. And if it is, I also want to know how I can get these two numbers between the minimum profit and the maximum profit fully profitable so there's no risk from my side and I've got a guaranteed profit regardless of whatever happens in the race. So yeah, that's why I've developed the sheet. And basically in this video, I'm going to go through exactly how it works and exactly how you can get those two numbers fully profitable and get a fully guaranteed profit from doing one of these each way dutches. So what you would do is you would find a horse race that you thought had the opportunity to make a profit on from an each way dutching perspective. And then you would enter all of the horses that were participating in that race into the horse name section along the left hand side of, of this spreadsheet under the under horse name. Right. So what I've done just to save time and keep this video as engaging as possible is I've copied all the runners from a race I found onto a Word document. I'm just going to paste them into the horse name column on my spreadsheet like that. And as soon as I've done that, what you would want to do then is you would want to enter each of the horse's prices, so the back odds for each of the horses, into this win odds box here. So for the favourite, you would want to enter the favourite's price in there like that. For the second favourite, you would want to enter that price. Third favourite, you would want to enter that price. Now, obviously, you would want to get the best price possible across all the different bookmakers. So Realistically, most of the time it's going to be Bet365 and Skybet, but you, you can get good prices on other bookmakers as well. Best way to find the best price is by using the extra place matcher that's on Odds Monkey. That's the way I usually do it. Again, that free trial link's in the description if you do want it for free. So basically, what you would do 
is you'd populate all the win odds next to all the, the individual horses along this spreadsheet. Again, to save some time and keep the video engaging, I've already done this beforehand. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna copy each of the prices over from this Word document into my spreadsheet like this, just to keep the videos engaging and as to the point as it, as it can possibly be. Now you can see we've got the horses' names populated here and the win odds for each of the horses populated just to the right of them. And by the way, if you do want this spreadsheet and you do want to download it, the link to download it is down below in the description along with the Odds Monkey free trial. Uh, you can get it from my Patreon page if you do want it. And you do want to start making some guaranteed profit from each way Dutchies. But anyway, once you've popped in the horses' names and the win odds throughout the field, what you'd want to do then is you'd want to direct your attention to the right-hand side of the spreadsheet. Can you see here where it says TRM, which is displayed in orange? You can see over here on the left-hand side, this column, place TRM, is also displayed in orange as well. Now, that represents the fact that these two sections of the spreadsheet are linked. Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to tell the spreadsheet whether the bookmakers are paying out on a fifth of the back prices for the place prices or the paying out on a quarter of the back prices for the place prices. And the way in which you would do that is you would come to the TRM on the right hand side, select the drop down, and you would select either a fifth or you would select a quarter. If you select a quarter, the place odds will change along this column next to the place TRM section. And if you select a fifth, which under most Horse racing circumstances, that's what you'll probably be looking at. If you select a fifth, you can see the place odds change again. And that is done automatically. So as soon as we've done that, and as soon as we've got all the place odds in, what we want to do is we want to direct our eyes over to the right-hand side of the spreadsheet and look at this section over here. Now, basically, this section is going to tell you whether or not the race is profitable or whether or not it isn't. And what I've done is I've designed a little key just to the right-hand side of this section and you can see green represents profitable, orange represents small downside, and that means that you might have a small downside on the worst case scenario on the Susie Beth sheet, but it, it probably will be very small, and it's likely that the long-term expected value will be on your side, or the box could be red, as it's shown in the key there, and that would just mean negative, so you might have a small maximum upside potentially, but it's likely that the expected value is completely against you and if you do those races over the long term you just lose money and the way in which you determine whether or not a race is going to be profitable for you draw your eyes back to this section you cross reference the number of places total places that the bookmaker is paying out on including the extra places so you find that number in this instance it was five places so five places right there and i've written this down over here as well 16 runner race five places total both sky and bet 365 were both paying out on that so we find the number of places total, five. Scroll our eyes just to the right-hand side of that. And can you see if the box is highlighted in green, as displayed on the key, this represents the fact that the race will be fully profitable for you. You can dutch this, this race, each way dutch this race, and you'll get a fully guaranteed profit between the worst case scenario, the minimum profit on the Susie Beth each way dutching sheet, right here, and the best case scenario, the maximum profit on this sheet as well. So that, because the number's highlighted in green, that represents the fact that you can somehow, some way, get a fully guaranteed profit on the race. Now, very quickly, the way in which this works, it's basically averaging out the bookmaker's yield and their advantage on the win book versus your margin on the place book. And if, on average, your margin is outweighing the bookmaker's margin, this will display a green box as the number will be below 100%, and therefore, it means you have the opportunity to do a fully profitable Dutch, each way Dutch that is, and make a guaranteed profit. Well, the problem is, let's say we've done all this, we can see that we've got the advantage, we're gonna make a fully guaranteed profit. So we pop all the horses' names, the prices, the places paid, the fractional terms into the Susie Beth each way Dutching sheet, and it still shows us a negative profit. So as you can see on the left-hand side, the minimum profit shows a negative. So this is where my spreadsheet comes in handy again, and this is a really big part of the whole process. And what this, set, this part of the, the process is going to be is defining your own personal each way stakes. Now, it's all automatic. You don't need to work anything out. The spreadsheet's going to do all that for you. So basically what you would do, you'd want to scroll your eyes to the right-hand side of the spreadsheet where you can see this yellow unit box over here, just above where the orange TRM box was earlier, which we discussed. And what you would do is you would come into this drop-down box and you would select a unit that you want, that you want to use 
for your each way stakes. Now the smallest number in this drop down box is 20, whereas the largest number is 500. Now if you select a large number like 500, oops, you can see the total stake down at the bottom needed to do this each way dutch would be 4,112 pounds, which is obviously a quite significant amount of money. You may not have that money on hand. You may not want to use all that money with bookmakers. So you might choose to use a smaller unit. So if you go back in, select a 20 unit, you can see the total stake required then would only be £165. Now obviously the larger amount of money you invest into this, the bigger your guaranteed profit is going to be, providing of course over-owned on average is in your favour, dependent on the place it's paid. But of course if you're using a smaller amount of money, you only need to put a small amount of money into the, the Dutch and you're still going to make a guaranteed profit providing you have the margin on the edge on your in your site. So what I'll do is I'll go back into the unit box and just for this example I'm going to select 200 and as soon as I select 200 that changes all the each way stakes over here to match that unit that I want to use. So at this point what you would want to do is you would want to populate all the recommended each way stakes that are provided on my spreadsheet into the Susie Beth each way stakes under the actual column here and then once you've done that you should see a guaranteed profit between the minimum profit and the maximum profit on this sheet. So let's just populate all the recommended each way stakes into these boxes right now. So I've just finished doing that, I've just finished populating all the recommended each way stakes my sheet provided me with into this box here. You can see the outlay 1644 is exactly the same as the total stake on this sheet 1644 but we still have a, a negative in the minimum profit in the worst case scenario of £44.93. Now under most races, if you've got a green box next to the amount of places being paid in total, you know you've got the advantage. And once you copy all the stakes from my sheet into this sheet over here, these two boxes will both show a guaranteed profit. Knowing again, that won't happen under different circumstances. Sometimes you'll have a small negative, but that doesn't make sense because this sheet, like I said, is telling us between the bookmaker's yield on the win book versus our yield on the place book, we have the advantage of this race by one way or another should show us a guaranteed profit. And just from experience, just because I've done this quite a good few times, I can see exactly where the problem is here. And that is it's basically because the favourite is a little bit too short and it's much shorter than ideally I would, I would want it to be. So you could do a few things here in this in this situation. You could do an offset on the betting exchange, that being back the favourite or back the runner with the shortest price because it's hogging up a large portion of the book uh, and make the race fully profitable from that perspective. But the easiest way to do it, as that's a little bit more complex and a little bit more in-depth, you can just simply up the each-way stake that's being used on the favourite. So you can see here it's currently at 100. If I change that to about 108, let's say, yeah, you can see that creates a fully guaranteed profit. So we look to the left-hand side of the Susie Beth sheet. We now have a minimum profit of £3.7p, so essentially a scratch. And the maximum profit remains the same at about £282. So yeah, like I said, under most circumstances, if you use the each-way stakes that are provided on my spreadsheet and put them into the, the, uh, the stakes box on the Odds Monkey Susie Beth sheet, that will show you a guaranteed profit. Now and again, you'll find situations like this where the favourite's a little bit short or a few other different examples where you've got to do a slight tweak. But if the number is below 100%, under the places paid, you have the advantage. And if you do want to get this spreadsheet, again, the download link is in the description and you can download it from my Patreon. And just very quickly, if we have a look at this sheet here, you can see obviously under five places, we have the advantage. But if the bookmaker drops to four places as a result of too many non-runners in the race, you can see they would then gain the advantage. And you can see there's quite a big jump there between five places and four places. Five places, you've got a 97% book on average. And on four places, the book's at 108% on average. So you can see there's quite a big jump. So we would probably, on this race, want to wear on the side of caution in case we get too many non-runners. And we would probably be at a negative from an EV perspective. So that's a really good feature. Say the number was like 101 or 102, we would know we would have the EV, even if the bookmaker pulled a place. But under this race, you can see five places we have the clear advantage, and four places we have the clear disadvantage. So I hope that makes sense. And if you do want to see this spreadsheet in action, 
when I used it at Cheltenham to lock in over £2,000 in just one day, just by using the stakes that were provided on my sheet, popping them into the Susie Beth sheet, check out this video I've just popped up on screen and that will show you exactly how this sheet works in more detail.